Today for BBC School Sport at Christ King College, we asked some of the students and teachers around the college for their views on festivals. Are they still relevant? Is it worth the price? And their views on the traffic that they cause. First of all, we spoke to some Year 7s. Do you think music festivals are still relevant? Yeah. yeah. Why is that? What do you like about them? Um, they like bring people together and they like allow people to have fun together and listen to music. Uh, what do you think of the traffic disruptions that come along with these festivals? Um, I think it's a bit of an inconvenience for people like to get home and stuff like that. Uh, what do you think of the price for the festival tickets? Do you think they should be reduced? Um, yeah, maybe for different people of age, but I think they're reasonable for now. Thank you. The number of festival visitors grew by over 1 million three years between 2012 and 2016, from 2.79 million to 3.9 million. 28% of festival goers last year attended an average of four festivals a year. We also wanted some views from a teacher, so we spoke to John, a DT technician. Okay. Do you think music festivals are still relevant? I think they're probably more relevant today than they Why's were that? back when they started. Why is that? Just because it's such a, a diverse range of music that lots of people, lots of different people want to listen to. Uh, what do you think of the traffic that comes along with these festivals? I don't mind because I live in Knighton. <laughs> if I lived in Ryde, I think I'd be quite put out because it does, I think it does cause a lot of, lot of issues. Or well, it did a couple of years ago, I think. Quite a big one. Uh, do you think the high prices are fair to these festivals? It depends on what way you mean fair. I think, I think it's fair to the artists and I think, I think it's not I don't think it's a terrible price for me to pay, personally. Um, but it would be nicer if they were cheaper, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Then we are some more students. I think festivals are still relevant purely because it gives more uh, indie artists an opportunity to ex to share their music with a lot of people because of festivals there's going to be so many people all listening and trying to find out your music. It's a lot easier than Spotify in which Spotify shows you the music only you listen to where a festival will show you all types of music. It's a lot more relevant. Finally, we got a view from a sick former. I definitely think they're still relevant. And, you know, despite there being, you know, massive emphasis on, you know, internet streaming of music, there's nothing quite like seeing your favourite band or favourite artist just there. And so, mm -hmm. you know, just then having lots of them together, you get to explore new music and it's overall really enjoyable. So I definitely think they are still relevant. Fair. Because, you know, obviously they, you want to get as good a lineup as possible. And if you want to get the big bands, then it's going to cost more in, than, you know, possibly other smaller bands. Yeah. So, they're, like, they are expensive, but I think that your value for money for seeing all these big bands is pretty good. So I, I think the ticket prices are about right. Thank you. No problem. So after speaking to the people at our school, it does seem like music festivals are relevant for the future. But will that always be the case?